Hello, animal ecologists. I am going to try and walk you through the population demographics lab. There is a PowerPoint presentation that I'm going to go through and I'm gonna make a series of YouTube videos sort of walking us through the slides of that PowerPoint. The first thing we do, and it's currently slide three of my PowerPoint, is catch at age. And we're gonna make a histogram of the ages that we caught of the fish. These are, I think, walleye. So here we have a data set where we have the total length, the total weight, the sex, the whether they're mature or not, and then the age. So we're interested in what ages we caught. So we're gonna highlight age, and then we're going to insert a histogram. Ta-da! That was a nice easy one. So we're gonna change a few things about it. In our brackets, in our axis here, we can format our axis. And what we want is this says 0 to 1.3, 1.3 1 to 2.6. I want to change that bin width to 1. So this age is in years. So they're whole numbers. We're counting them based on the year. So if I change it to 1, then the first bar is only zeros. So what this round bracket 0, comma 1 square bracket means is this is including all of the zeros up until one, but not including one. So this is counting all the zeros. This is all the ones up until two, but not including two. So all the ones, all the twos, all the threes, all the fours, all the fives. This is just like the Cody way of saying zero, one, two, three, four, five, and just the whole numbers. And then we're basically done, that's our histogram. But in biology, if you're making graphs to hand in like a figure worth a figure caption in the whole nine yards, we don't want our graph to look like this. So we're gonna to go to, we click on it, chart design. We can change elements. So I can get rid of my chart title and I can get rid of my grid lines. And then I can add axes. So it's a histogram. So this axis is frequency. Writing upside down is weird. And this axis is age. And we're measuring it in years. And there is a much better graph for handing in. So that's the first Thing that we're going to do. So I'm going to end it there and the next time you see me I'll be teaching you a slightly more difficult part.